Translate. It's Google Translate, but it is under Translate. Google Translate. Install. Installing. There was also other translate apps here. This is the best one that I've found so far, which is Google Translate. Information about Google Translate. Translate between 103 languages by typing, tap to translate, copy text in any app, and your translation pops up. Offline translation, translate 59 languages when you have no internet. Instant camera translation, use your camera to translate text instantly in 38 languages. Camera mode, take pictures of text for higher quality translations in 37 languages. Conversation mode, two-way instant speech translation in 32 languages. And handwriting, draw characters instead of using the keyboard in 93 languages. Phrasebook, star and save translations for future reference. So this is what it's capable of doing. Translations between the following languages are supported. And here are all of the different languages and you can look through them and see which one is yours. When you install it, these are the permissions that Google asks or may ask. Microphone for speech translation, translating text via the, the camera, SMS for translating text messages, external storage for downloading offline translation data, accounts and credentials for signing in and syncing across the devices. So here you can see this information. So. Once you install it, you open it up. Welcome back. Go to settings, tap to translate, enable. This will allow it to draw over other apps so, so that this, this icon pops up over other apps that you may have running so you can use it alongside other apps. Preferred language. My primary language is English, the language you translate most often. And you can choose any language in here that you are translating most often. I'm just going to choose Hindi because that is what most people are speaking. Camera, auto. If it doesn't work, you can try the camera one or camera two. So these are my cameras on my cell phone. Yours may be different. I'm just using auto. And the region is English Canada, speed, normal, slow, or slower, just normal, speech output, speak output, automatically speak, speak translated text, block offensive words, okay, so that's set.
translate between 103 languages by typing. Okay, so this is English. Have a good day. This is Spanish. Arabic. Danish. This is your choice. You can detect the language. You can also just choose the language that you want to translate from and you have 103 choices. You can also choose the languages that you want to translate to. You have 103 choices. Tap to translate, copy the text. Tap to translate, copy text in any app and your translation will pop up. So click copy. Google translation pops up. So I would like to translate it, detect the language. The language detected is Filipino. And here is the translation. Oops. Copy. This is what I copied there. This is what was said. So this is what was written. This is what is said. Offline translation. Here you can download over 59 languages. When you have no internet, you can still use the translation simply by downloading this information and having it on your cell phone or your tablet. So here I'm going to download the Hindi it says translate this language even when you're offline by downloading an offline translation file. And it tells you how big the translation file is. So then download that. Now I have this on my cell phone and you can download as many of these available languages as possible. You see here it is right there. So now I do not need to be online to use the translation for Hindi. New camera translation, automatic language detection, better translation quality and more languages are supported. The text and the images 
are sent to Google for translation. When you're connected and when you use import or scan, the images are sent to Google for text recognition. Let Google retain images for use in product development. Sure. Continue. Okay. Try out the new camera mode, automatic language detection, and better quality, more languages with a new look. Okay, so this has now been changed from English to Danish. So we're going to detect the language. And we're going to change that to Hindi. So this is using the camera. So I'll change to Hindi. So look your camera at the text. You can scan. Take your finger and highlight what you want to be able to read in the text. Okay, so it says go for a low buck doom luck. Let's now change it to Indonesian. Now it's being changed to Indonesian. Okay, now we're in the Google Translate app. I'm using my camera on my cell phone to show you. This is the settings. Now we're going to change this to Hindi again. So there, this is in the Hindi for the setup. Arabic. Okay, so this is one way to use your camera to do translating. The second way is a scan, and let's just go into this information here. It's in going to detect this language, okay, and we're going to do a scan now. You just take your finger and you highlight the words that you want. And then this is automatically translated for you. This is Arabic. This is Hindi. And this is Indonesian. So that is the second way. Here is an example of the Google Translate from English.
garbage. Okay, so here is an example of how you can use the voice. Click, hello, how are you today? Hello, hello, how are you today? So I've just used hello and it's turned to Spanish. Well, now I'm going to change it to Arabic. You could see the writing there. You could actually say more than a couple of words. You can say up to 5,000 characters. And as you can see, it automatically will type that. So it automatically will type what you are speaking in the language that you are translating it to. The next way is if you want to have a conversation. So you set up your conversation for the language that you want to translate from. Here is English or detect the language but here is English and to let's just say um, Bengali okay so we're going to go into the conversation now hello how are you today hello. today is a good day so there you see you're having a conversation with somebody who is speaking in another language and it is you are now able to communicate you are now able to communicate with the person and they are able to understand what you are saying so that was in Bengali let's change that to Arabic so that is the other way to use the voice you can also use handwriting phrase book phrase book this is where you will find all of the phrases that you save with the star. Hello and welcome. And I have hello and welcome in Arabic as well as in Hindi. I liked your video. This is in Hindi. And you start to recognize the different styles of the way the languages are written.
This is mostly saved in Arabic and Hindi. And it's very easy to save. How are you today? Just if I type in, how are you today? And I am translating that to somebody who I'm speaking to, say in Hindi. So then there it says, how are you today? And I would just copy this and take it and put it where I wanted it to go. Also, I would save it so that it will now appear in my phrase book. So this is very handy to have and will help you out a lot. in minutes okay so here is my chat right here it's for serious youtubers and as you can see it's in different languages languages that I don't understand and if I'm going to somebody's channel to see what it's about then if I don't understand the language then how can I subscribe to the channel? Communicate with somebody who speaks a different language. So do you see how this can help you? The next one is handwriting. Go translate helps to be the bridge that we need in order to be able to understand other languages. Coming up next is the tutorial on using your computer or laptop with Google Translate.